Embedded systems are reactive systems in the sense that they are meant to respond to external signals in a bounded time. Therefore, the embedded software are structured to act on the external events immediately for registering the event, processing it, and responding with outputs if any. What exactly is the nature of the relationship between the input and the output determines how the embedded system software or hardware are structured. Consider the Metro Turnstile control system. Its basic functionality is to keep the turnstile locked unless a valid token is recognized by it or an override button is enabled, usually from the supervisor's counter. If we consider the token as an event with parameters, i.e. all the information stored on it, then the turnstile does not need any more information internally or externally to make its decision. So its operation is purely combinatorial. Such systems are also called stateless systems. For example, the HTTP server that serves web pages is a stateless system as each HTTP transaction is independent of any earlier interactions between the client and the server. Stateless systems improve the properties of visibility, reliability, and scalability. Visibility is improved because a monitoring system does not have to look beyond a single request in order to determine its full nature. Reliability is improved because it eases the task of recovering from partial failures without having to revert to previous states. Scalability is improved because not having to store state session information between requests allows the server to quickly free resources or be migrated to a standby system. Contrast this with an FTP server. It has the notion of a session where the client needs to log in and authenticate first before any transfer can take place. Further, FTP commands may cause navigation of directories on the server before initiating transfers. While web applications can appear to be stateless, it's only a matter of whether the state is part of the server or the client. In reality, all applications require the notion of state in order to perform meaningful functionality, unless the functionality is almost trivial. Stateless embedded applications are suited for any actions that are transitory. For example, since the turnstile at the metro station has only a direct action of locking or unlocking based entirely on token and manual override button inputs, it can be considered as a stateless system. In the rest of this video, we will look at stateful systems because they can exhibit more complex, realistic and useful behavior than stateless systems.